Nikon recently launched its flagship camera, the Nikon D850. It's a full frame 46 megapixel camera and there was a lot of hype around it. A lot of photographers are excited about the new features that were added in this camera. Specifically, there are two important features which I feel are completely different, which were not there in my Nikon D800. One of that feature is focus shift, also known as focus stacking. So let's see what this feature means and how to achieve this in your Nikon D850. Before going to focus shift or focus stacking, first let's understand the concept of depth of fill or uh, what is known as DOF or depth of focus. <clears throat> when your camera focuses on a subject, let's say uh, for this insect, our camera or the camera and the lens combination. So your lens has focused at this point. Now if you notice what has happened is a certain area behind the subject may be till this point and certain area in front of the subject may be at this point. So this area is in focus. It appears to be in focus. So this is your depth of focus or depth of fill. It depends on the aperture at which you are shooting. So if you choose a, a very, let's say, tiny aperture like f, uh, f22 or so, this depth of focus is very wide. So this is your area that appears to be in focus, although your lens has focused at this point. If we choose a very, a very big aperture like f uh, let's say f uh, 2.8 or something like that at f 2.8 the depth of focus is very shallow what it means is if you focus at this point if your lens focuses at this point a very shallow area behind the subject and in front of the subject appears to be in focus although your lens is focused at this point. So this becomes your depth of focus at f2.8 or a shallow depth of fill. So obviously if we want, if you notice this particular photo, although the lens has focused, your camera has focused at this point, you get this as your depth of focus. So now this particular photo was shot at f32. So you should get maximum depth of focus or maximum area in the subject, which is in focus. If you notice, this part is out of focus and this part that's closer to the camera that is also out of focus. Now, when you focus at this point, this area will go out of focus. If you focus at this point, this area will go out of focus. So we use a technique called focus shift or focus stacking. Now we have this insect. So let's see what focus stacking means. Now my lens has focused at this point. So grad, what we do in this technique is first we focused at the closest point closest to the camera and we get even at a uh, let's say f32 aperture we get a depth of fill and certain part of the subject appears to be in focus but rest of the subject appears to be out of focus so step by step we shoot first second third fourth fifth sixth seventh so we take number of photos in steps and gradually shift our focusing point towards the tail end of the subject and then in software like photoshop or zirin stacker or helicon focus we stitch all these images together and then that software brings all the focusing points together and merges that photo and gets the best focus out of each image and finally when we stitch all these images so a sequence of these images, it becomes this image. So right from the foreground till the background, all the images are stitched and the best focus out of all the images is brought together by those so 
different kinds of uh, stacking focus stacking softwares and of course because we are we are stitching number of images and due to the different uh, focusing points and shift of focus there is a change of perspective and we have to cut away the extra areas if you notice this area uh, there is some overlapping and there is some software thing happening there and you have to cut out crop the extra area from the surrounding so while shooting this kind of images you have to keep a loose composition so you have to keep a lot of extra area that will be cut later on from the subject so you don't take a very tight close-up leave some extra area around the subject for editing and once the photo is stitched together you can cut off the extra area Rahul Bilsari he owns this camera one important thing to note is that this feature will work only on Nikon AFS and AFP lenses I used a 105mm Nikon AFS macro lens but when I used my Nikon 200mm f4, a very old lens, which is a non-AFS, non-AFP lens, focus shift feature in the menu was grayed out. It means I cannot use that feature with my old lens. The lens has to be AFS or AFP. We are on live view mode of our camera. In the live view mode, let's zoom in and focus the nearest point of our subject we will focus in manual focus mode next we go to the menu and navigate to the photo shooting menu right at the bottom of the photo shooting menu second last option is focus shift menu there are number of options in the focus shift shooting menu number of shots it means the number of images that we will be shooting in one sequence of focus shift shooting. For this particular sequence, we will be shooting 15 images. We can take a maximum of 300 shots. Focus step width. This is the gap or the distance between consecutive steps. Here we have a choice of narrow and wide. After trial and error, I have chosen 8 as the focus step width. For macro or close-up photography, take smaller focus steps and increase the number of shots because the depth of fill is very shallow even with the smallest aperture. Next option is interval until next shot. Here we choose 0 if we are shooting in available light. So now we will be shooting at 5 frames per second or 5 fps. So with 5 fps we can finish our sequence very fast and the subject won't possibly move during our sequence. This might be particularly useful in handheld photography. But if we are using flash, choose a longer interval between shots to give time for the flash to recharge. One important thing to remember is that light should be consistent throughout the sequence that we shoot. Next option is exposure smoothing. If we are shooting in manual mode, then our exposure will be consistent throughout the sequence. But if we choose any of the automatic modes like aperture priority or shutter priority or program mode, camera will try to adjust exposure on every shot. But with the exposure smoothing on, camera adjusts the exposure to match the exposure or the brightness in short of the previous shot. Next option is silent photography, which is very obvious. The camera shoots in silent mode. Next option is starting storage folder. Here we can create a separate folder on our memory card to save this focus switch shooting images in a separate folder. So later on when we open this images in a software, it is easier to choose those files from a single folder. So let's begin photography. We click on the start option camera will continuously shoot a sequence of 15 images now, this is how it works camera will keep shooting now let's check our images and as we zoom in we'll notice that uh, all our images are in a sequence and slowly the focus point is shifting towards the tail end of the insect so these are our images of the focus shift shooting and the focus point is slowly shifting from the foreground to the background and after stitching those images in Photoshop this is the this is the result 
of the entire shoot complete focus from the foreground to the background big depth of focus so i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to regularly get updates from my youtube channel hit the subscribe button and hit the bell shaped icon next to it to get regular notifications on your mobile thank you